So I don't know about you, but as an artist and a creator, I feel like I have so much stuff and I don't want to get rid of any of it because it's actually taken me a really long time to collect all my supplies and they're expensive expensive, it's hard to organize them all. And as a new mom, apparently you do this thing called nesting. So I've been working really hard on the nursery for our new little boy. And it's really important to me that a lot of it is homemade. So I have made a mobile, I've made a bunch of pillows, and I've been working on some little paintings, and I'm sure the list is going to continue. But throughout the whole process, I realized I'm pretty unorganized and that probably doesn't come as a surprise to my husband who's helped move file cabinets upon file cabinets of supplies and paper scraps and fabric scraps and thousands of markers and inks and you name it we've moved it i even have old books of wallpaper you never know right i mean it could really come in handy someday. So it was actually quite timely when the fine folks at Sortly reached out to me asking if I'd heard of the app and would be interested in doing an app review. I honestly hadn't heard of them, but I looked into it and guys, game changer, seriously. It's not so much an inventory app as it is an organizational app and it's perfect for anyone really. You can use it for your individual needs, you can use it for a business's purposes. Really, the sky's the limit with this app and it's pretty darn cool. So I'm gonna do a quick app review on this today, kind of showing you how I organize my art supplies for a lot of reasons. When I'm at the store, I don't know what I have. A lot of times I'll be like, oh, that looks neat. I'm gonna buy 27 markers and then I get home and I'm like, I kind of already had a lot of markers. I don't really need these, but I thought I did. Or I am notorious for thinking I'm out of something when I'm not. Honestly, ask my husband. When it comes to grocery shopping, I'll get to the store and I'm convinced I'm out of mustard and I'll buy another bottle. I'll get home, we'll have three. That's not very convenient for your pocketbook. I do the same thing with art supplies. And as a new mom, money's getting tighter. So this is kind of important and this app is super helpful in that. So the other cool thing about this app is it syncs between all your devices, which is great. So if I'm at the store, I can take a photo of an item and if you scan it, if it's a well-known items, you know, at Home Depot or whatever, it will automatically load into the app for you sync with your desktop, and then wherever you're at, you understand what you have. So I'm gonna start by giving you a quick rundown of the mobile app, come on. So as mentioned, I realized throughout this whole process that I am a little bit unorganized. This is kind of the way I roll. Uh, yeah, Ziploc, other bags, other bags, other bags, and file cap. I guess I'm a bag lady, okay. The most frustrating part about this is, yes, these are generally all of my stamping materials, but do I really know what's in this bag? Absolutely not. And before I go to the store, do I wanna dump out this bag and check? Absolutely not. That's where Sortly comes in. I'm using Sortly Pro because I just have so many items and you could, there's a free version, there's a pro version. Check them all out. You can see what works best for you. So as you can see here, um, this is what you see when you log in. Um, you can have multiple folders is what they call them. So I have art supplies and paintings. And paintings is just because sometimes people call me and they're like, hey, I'd love to buy a watercolor from you. What do you have? And I'm like, uh, I honestly have no idea. So I thought this would be a cool space to use this, but we're gonna focus on art supplies today just because there's so many. Click art supplies. And then within art supplies, I have all of my other folders or categories. So I have inks, paints, fabric, stamps, paper, and markers, and there is so much more. I'm just getting started with this, but today we're gonna focus on markers. So let's go ahead and use a trusty Tombow marker. As you know, I'm a big fan of these. If you don't, there's a link in a video down below on how to use them. So these are really cool, similar to a lot of markers and art supplies. These are probably sold individually at some stores, so there's an individual barcode on this. So what we're gonna do here is go into art supplies, markers, and then I'm gonna add a new item, which is this Tombow marker. New item, you can just take a photo of it. If you wanna get really fancy, you can take a photo of kinda of like the marks it makes. Um, I'm not gonna do that for now, but just so you guys can know. And then here's the really cool part. If you come over here and we'll hit next, so you see you have that photo, add another. If you come over here and hit scan, this is where it gets really awesome. 
So you get the barcode ready and you put it right below this little X scan. Okay, great. Look up product. Fingers crossed. Ta-da! This is awesome. Okay, it tells me which color it is, which marker it is, the number. Yeah, this is the right product. That's awesome. Hit yes. And I only have one of those, so I'm gonna just leave it there. I can add tags. So let's see, it is a fine tip marker. I'm gonna add a tag that says marker. I'm going to add another one that says purple. I think that's it for now. You can come back in and add more if you want. But I have one, I have my tags, there's the info, the barcode, save. Great, okay. Say that I am at home and I run out of ink in this and I wanna subtract it. There's an easy way to do that. You can just come into the app here and hit the search, hit the scan button here, and then hit quick action. As you can see, you can add, subtract, you can move things, you can do a new item here, but I'm gonna subtract a quantity. Say that this ran out of ink. Um, I want to subtract one quantity and I'm gonna scan this. Now I have zero Tombow markers, bummer. So now say I'm at the store and I'm about to start a project and I wanna know, do I have a purple Tombow? It may have ran out of ink, I'm not sure. Let's double check the Sortly app. So you come in here and you hit search and then you can either type in what you want. So that's where your naming becomes really important. Tombow purple, Tombow whatever, or you can scan. So if you're at the store and it has a barcode, this is the easiest way to do it. You scan this. Tombow dual point pen looks like I used to, but I have zero now, so I should buy another one. How sweet is that? That means you don't have to spend an extra $10 on pens. You know exactly what you have. You know where it's at when you get home. This is awesome. So that's kind of the general gist of Sortly. I mean, it's a big app and there's a lot you can do with it. And really, like I said, the sky is the limit. For me, I'm using it for art supplies just so I can be aware of where my things are, how much I have, and if somebody has it, where it's at, or as I'm preparing for this baby, I'm at the store a lot, pregnancy brain is a real thing and I forget what I have. So I'm certainly using this as, even if I'm at Home Depot buying paint or paint brushes, I'm like, well, I hate to get home and not have that product. Check the app. Do I have it? Turns out I do. Just saved some money. Let me know what you guys think. Try it out. Leave comments below. I'm really curious to kind of hear your use cases for this, if it's valuable to you at all. And the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a nursery tour and show you kind of how I made some of that stuff. So come back for that because I think it's turning out really cute. See you next time.